Definition of Terms Section 1 Church Chiricon There are problems with the use of the English word church. We use the word in a variety of ways to mean different things, usually without defining what we mean by it, and very often without even being aware ourselves that we are using the same term in different ways to refer to different things. This leads to confused thinking and consequently to misunderstanding. In order to avoid these problems, we need to understand something of the etymology and history of the word and its use. And we need to be careful in our use of the term to make sure that we understand ourselves and indicate clearly to others what we mean by it. The English word church comes from the Old English circe or circe, which is derived from the Greek word kirikon, meaning God's house, a popular 4th century form of the Greek word kiriakon, an adjective meaning imperial of the Lord. This Greek word was used of, quote, the Lord's house, end quote, to kiriakon doma. The English word church is derived via this root from the Greek adjective kyriakos. This adjective is used only twice in the New Testament, however, and in neither instance does it have reference to the Greek word ekklesia, which is the word usually translated as church in English translations of the Bible. In 1 Corinthians 11.20, it is used of the Lord's Supper, and in Revelation 1.10, it is used of the Lord's Day. Nowhere in the New Testament is this term used to refer to the Lord's house. Strictly speaking, therefore, the notion or concept of the church is not part of the New Covenant, although it is, of course, part of the Old Covenant, i.e. the temple. The concept of the church, i.e. a building and its appurtenances, set apart as a special sanctuary for Christian worship, is not found in the New Testament and is not a feature of the New Covenant. In his translation of the New Testament, William Tyndale did not use the word church to translate the Greek word ekklesia and rendered it more accurately throughout as congregation. Nowhere in Tyndale's translation of the New Testament do we find the word church used of the assembly or community of believers. The New Testament does not identify the ecclesia as the house of the Lord, i.e. a building and its appurtenances, but as the people of God, a covenant community called out of the world of sin and unbelief into fellowship with God as his holy nation. 1 Peter 2 verse 9. Unfortunately, Subsequent translations of the Bible into English, including the Geneva Bible, did not follow Tyndale's lead in this matter and mistranslated the Greek word ekklesia as church. The English word church is used in most English translations of the Bible to translate the Greek word ekklesia. This is a mistranslation, since the ekklesia is not a building, but an assembly of the people constituted as a body politic. See section 2, quote, assembly, end quote, below. There were, strictly speaking, therefore, no Christian churches in the New Testament. Believers met in their homes or in other places, but there were no specially designated buildings set apart for Christian worship. There was the temple, of course, and there were synagogues where the first Jewish Christians probably worshipped on the Sabbath, but they were soon obliged to leave these as they worshipped elsewhere on the Lord's Day, the day after the Jewish Sabbath, and Gentile Christians never worshipped in the synagogues. Originally, however, the term synagogue did not refer to a building either, but to a gathering of people, an assembly from the Greek word synago, meaning to gather together, and it was used of local communities of Jews who met together on the Sabbath for worship, instruction in the law, 
and for educational and social purposes. That is to say, it referred to people, a community, not to a building, and only came to signify a building at a later date because of its use as a metonym for the building in which the community met. It was exactly the opposite with the term church, that is to say, the building, which is properly called a church from the etymological point of view, came to signify the community of Christians that met in it. According to the Concise Oxford Dictionary of Current English, 8th edition, 1990, the English word church can mean 1. A building for public worship. 2. A meeting for public worship in such a building, then with the first letter capitalized. 3. The body of all Christians. 4. The clergy or clerical profession. 5. An organized Christian group or society of any time, country, or distinct principles of worship. 6. Institutionalized religion as a political or social force. In this book, I use the word church with the first letter capitalized to refer to what is predominantly understood by the term in common usage, i.e. the liturgical institution with its rituals, discipline, and bureaucracy governed by clergymen. Not all modern denominations use the term clergyman, but the concept to which the word refers is endemic in all of them.